Well, something exciting is going to happen. My husband is taking me around the area where we live, and we're going to look for Bigfoot evidence. And if we find any, I will be making more of this video. I'm not really dressed to go trudging around the woods because we also have to go to town and get groceries. So I'm not going to be going traipsing down in any woods. But if we see anything around the back roads, I'm going to be filming it. And if you're seeing this, we got some stuff and ready Enjoy. for this adventure? Yeah. Are you scared of Bigfoot? No. Do you believe in him? Uh. You can't lie on camera. I haven't never seen one. Okay. All right. Do we need to take tick spray? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. This is my husband, Charles. He's kind of a redneck. <laughs> and he sees more than he says. <laughs> Because he's smarter than me. I just let everything flop out my mouth, don't I, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why we're together. Yeah. Got a quiet one and a Gabby. Okay, well, we're on our way. Are you ready? Let's go do it. Looks like we found something just yards from our house. Over in the area where I always, always see structures, but this is at the top of our dirt road right here, see? Look at that. Wow. Hon, what do you think of that? Natural? Don't think so. No. Look at that one. That one, it's stuck up in there and it's not even touching the ground. Do you, look. Oh my God. That's definitely markings. Holy moly. Okay, that's new. Turn this on because we're just yards from our house and we've already found this one. Look at that. Oh, Lordy, I think they moved away from us a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but that's impressive what they're doing. Look, there's another limb stuck up in a tree, and it's not touching the ground. Just jabbed up in there. Be still a minute. Just jabbed up in there. Oh, this is exciting. What do you think of this, babe? <laughs> kind of creepy, huh? <laughs> He's going to be believer before it's over with, y'all. Okay, I'm just leaving this on. I don't want to take pictures of anybody's homes. I could get trouble doing that, but we're just on our, our road. See, it's just a dirt road going back in, not to the pavement, but away from it, checking out things. So far, after we've left our home, I haven't seen anything yet. This is, see, you can see how much wilderness there is. Mm. Well, that could be a structure. It may be a structure. Holy crud, there's lots of it down here. Now, we did have a drought a few years ago, so a lot of this has contributed to that. I've got to turn this off. We're coming up to a home. I'll turn it back on in a minute. Well, there's some more. These are leaning up on a tree, if you can see. You pull up a little bit. All right, stop right there. See, you can see them leaning. Okay, you can go on past. There's some frost bushes. Mm. Okay, pull up just a little bit. Look at that, dudes. Looky there. Huh. This is amazing to me. I'm not crazy. What you thinking, hon? It wasn't that you wasn't crazy. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, wait. Let's see. Is that that's just a fallen tree. That's okay. Whoa! Look at that. There's another one snapped off. Okay. I can't get this to get any closer. Snapped off kind of up, you know, quite quite high, because that goes down into a ravine. So I'd say maybe that's six feet off the ground broken. Let me get this. That could have been pushed down, not sure. Just taking a picture in case. See, this is all wilderness out here, you guys. All wilderness. There's stuff over on this side. Woo, honey, you're close. There's stuff on this side, but we'll catch that on the, on the back. And we're going to show you this wild house that this man began to build and never, ever finished that is out here in this area. It's pretty cool. 
Um, I don't see there's dead trees that just fall down. Do they do it on their own stock? Do they wedge in between trees? Uh oh, there's that famous wind we get. Okay, do they wedge themselves in on trees by themselves? Do they? Who knows? For sure. Oh, there we go. Some other structures. Trees just jammed in between other trees. I can't hardly see where if I'm even getting it. Surely am. Okay, you can go. It's in the shade there. That looks kind of strange, but I think it's just a weird tree. We live out here with deer and wildlife everywhere, so, you know, I mean, it's not just wildlife can rub tree bark and bears dig around and buck rub their horns on things. So I don't think there's anything here. And I am going, look at that big sand song sit, just sitting back there. That would be Just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. We're coming to a home. Okay, there is some big leaners right there. Big leaners. Okay, you can go, honey, a little bit. And we're fixing to come up on another structure we found earlier. So, to see how wilderness, is, much wilderness is out here, you know? I mean, anything can live out here. It's just, there is a clearing right there. And they have huckleberries or something down in there. It's pretty neat. Okay, what is going on? I'm leaving this on in case I see something. But around this next bend, there is a structure. So we can kind of speed it up a little. I don't remember seeing anything in here. But there are some clear areas back in there. Deer could lay down. Bigfoot could lay down. Slow down, slow down. Okay, there's some leaners in there, if you can see them back in there. I don't know if you can. Could be natural, because like I said, there's dead wood. There's something we're coming up on. There's something. Going a little fast. Where is it? We saw it the other direction. Maybe it's right down there. Quick. And there's some leaners right there. Let's see them? Okay. And then I think right up here somewhere. Huh? Go up some. There's some leaners. A bunch of trees pulled down. There's a bowed tree back way back in there that's been bowed over on purpose. Okay. Um, where is that we saw? Was it around yeah, that corner? Good. Yeah, I agree. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Look at that one. It's stuck up through a tree. Mm -mm -mm. Is that our driveway? No. Here's some more. Yeah, it looks like they've been clearing here. Isn't it funny? Because all the Bigfoot seem to clear areas. It's just weird. Is there a house coming up here? Okay, gotta turn it off again. It's a pretty day today anyway. So what did you think about that one structure we found just yards from our home with that stick straight up in the air like that? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yep, it was weird. He's not sure he believes in Bigfoot, but he doesn't believe in anything like that because it's kind of creepy anyway, you know. But when you have so many things happen, you can't discredit stuff right in your face. We have not seen, I'm kidding you not, any structures since we left our vicinity. But we're gonna keep going and go close to the river. We're gonna show you this old house up here that they're working on. And 
there were some real strange landscape areas where everything was dead on you. And buzzards would just rest up there. It's kind of weird. So we'll go check that out too in a minute. Oh. What? I can't get it. You drove by it. But there. Yeah. There's, there's a creek right past my husband down in that ravine right there. And so we see all these structures here. Not too many, but some. I see some way back. I can't get on film right now. So anyway, there's another. Now this is this is lining a creek that runs right into the river. What river is it, hon? Illinois. Illinois River. He knows his rivers because he like he used to fish all the time. Yep. See, there's a creek. You can even drive across it if you want now. We'll have to do that if we ever get a pickup. <laughs> so it's so pretty back in here. So pretty. So we're down in a ravine, down in the gully, down at the bottom, down at the bottom. And it's so pretty. You know, if Bigfoot is friendly, he can live here. I just don't want him messing with me. See, there's some wildlife we have. Hello, beautiful. You're so pretty. There you go. There's some structures way down in there, big time. Holy moly. Can't get to them, though. Wow, I'm not going out there, guys. I have got sandals on. <laughs> Stupid me, huh? Look at this. Stop. Hmm. Look at that hollow tree. Pretty impressive. Okay. What? Stop! Is there anybody behind you? Back up a little. I think we just found a structure. I cannot get back there. Oh, I can't say for sure because we did have some big... Be still. Be still. We did have some big wind, but that looks constructed, kind of. Oh, that's weird. It's got moss or something all over it. I can't get any closer, dudes, but that's weird. Okay. side road you need to just drive slowly and just found a few things on this road so but they're not all over my area they just like certain spots and I'd really like to know why but I bet there's huckleberry and maybe wild persimmon things that they can eat because you know you're living out in the wilderness you've got to be somewhere where you can get some food and our property has a lot of uh, has a persimmon tree and a lot of huckleberries and hackberries and all that so okay i'll take more later well i'm really enjoying this it's fun we're having a good time um seeing a lot of things can't explain there was a twister that came out here so it's kind of hard sometime to um figure out what was the twister and what was not usually the twister there's still leaves on it that you could tell were bloomed out this early this spring so they kind of shriveled up so that's new new stuff so anyway we are headed pretty soon to this strange house in some swampy area and um you look bigger than these because i'm closer maybe i just have a big head but anyway we are going to go now back on the main road and there's nothing they don't like the main roads i found that out so anyway um i'll put some more in here later this is just a little break smile baby i love you 
Say you love me on camera. I love you on camera. Okay. <laughs> Go back up. There's one. We're getting close to that house out here that I want to show you. We gotta back up more. Okay, past this pine so I can see right there's two that are leaned up against a tree. Um, there's also some dead trees, but those two were leaned up against that tree. Okay, alrighty, we're gonna go forward, see what else we can see. But what's funny about these, this one wedge between the trees is, it's not just wedged, it's like mashed in there. And I've noticed that when Bigfoot does it, they're just mashed in between. It's really strange. Huh? Oh, roll your window down. Okay. Ooh. Pull up. Please. Look at that. Oh, I can't hardly get it. But anyway, yeah, there. Let me get it cleared up again. Teepee like structure. It's blurry, hang on. Okay, see, this is familiar. Y'all know if you watch Bigfoot videos, they bend these trees all the time. Okay, pull up just a little. And look, it's interwoven into those other trees. That's crazy. Okay, see how that's done? Impressive. Little artistic Bigfoot out here. All right. And funny thing is, my husband's the one that's spotting all this stuff. <laughs> Looky, there's one. There's one. All right. That could be natural. That's high off the ground. Oh, it's high off the ground? Oh, that one's not on the ground, okay? At the bottom, I can't. I, I'm plugged in because my charger it is plugged in. I have to have it right now. But it's not touching the ground. <laughs> okay. Keep going. There's some more leaners. Uh, yep. It's happening, people. Okay. Okay. We are over there here in this area. Look at that, look at that, look at that. teepee like thing back there behind that dead tree. Twi uh, turned, all right, stop right there, perfect. Look at that. Sorry for the lighting, the sun's coming. Two of them just put up there. Now I've not seen anything around our property like that, so that's exciting to me. Okay, you can go on and there's some more down in there, but. This is the area we thought we might see some stuff, and it looks a little big footy in areas. So we'll just keep rolling this for a minute. In case we see anything. This is undeveloped land out here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places for them to live. What, 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 what? I think that's just a tree dead down. Go ahead. 
that's another dead tree nothing nothing special about that sometimes they use those trees though but I don't think that's what that is okay. turned off a minute oh structures back in there just go um, there was a house on the opposite side and I don't want to make them think they're scoping them out for any reason going up excuse my windshield but we're going up because that is a big house overlooks the river the river's way down below and we're gonna get out here when we come turn around and get out and uh, we're gonna walk up there I guess we're gonna do it now <laughs> so I think I'm charged enough hopefully I wish you wouldn't get me way over in these big weeds here okay all right let's go walking Let's go walking. You can just leave that running, can't you? Or not? Okay. Listen to the rear, rear bugs. I don't like those bugs. All right, I'm going over here and I'll show you the outlook, overlook. There's the river, the beautiful river, and the beach. There is a farmer over there plowing his field and gathering hay. That's who's always burning off. Starting fires all the time. So beautiful out here. No Bigfoot right here. They're on the other side of the road. <laughs> I'm looking down, down below. I don't see any. Whoa, man, it feels so cool up here. Such a pretty day. See anything that looks interesting yet? No, me neither. Nothing here. Just natural stuff that happens. The beautiful river, it, we've had so much rain, it has just swelled up. And it just goes on and on and on. It's so gorgeous. So that's why we put up with Bigfoot activity, because we love it here for the beautiful wildlife. Okay, I'm turning this off for now. There's the big house mansion, dude. Big, huge thing. I mean, huge. There were buzzards sitting on the top of it before. Boy, our window is messy, huh? It's got an elevator in the middle of it, and I don't know what all. It's just massive. And I think it's for sale. <laughs> anyway, back to Bigfoot hunting. Oh, check it out. See, I remembered long time ago when we came over in this area that there was a something going on because it just looked strange out here yeah a lot of whoa 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 do you know how whoa scoot up some now please scoot up some now okay look at that back in there that is all woven guys look at that and look at there's a, another x sort of and all those structures it's just wow all woven in you can pull up a little and I can get behind those trees and maybe see something else here see that's just jammed in there what are they making there's some more way down in there um, look over there what in the world is that Look at that. Do you see that over there? On that bold tree? Look at that, how it's bent all crazy. 
and I've, I've seen them talk about that kind of stuff happening too. Look guys at this. Look at this. What? Look at this. That looks like you could just go hide in there, like little hobbits or something living in there. <laughs> Whoa. Or little people. Look at that. Look. Look back in there. Stop. Stop. I mean, I gotta focus. It's just out of focus. Look back in there, guys. Way back in there. Look at all that. Hmm. This is from the blacktop. We were just at that big house. You're going down that way? We are going to turn down a road. I don't want you to see the signs. Guys, I just heard something loud crunch back in here. <laughs> Go a little bit. That may be your tires. <laughs> Why? There's something down there. Go. Why? You scared? You want me to walk down there? You can't walk there. I'm just worried about the car. Well, I'm going to walk. Watch me. Because I I don't want to step on a snake. So I've got a video. Watch where I'm walking. Structures. I get a weird feeling about this place. What's out there? What is that? Is that paper? That's just where it is. That's just it. There's some bold little things. I hope I don't step on anything and something bite my toe. Look way over there. I just don't know what that thing is down over there. Okay, let's go. Oh. This is the end of the road. Please, Lord, don't let me get ticks. You know I hate ticks. Oh, heck yeah. There you go. Look at those bowed trees over there over one another. Hmm. Yeah, we had some tornado come through and look, evidently pulled this big old oak out of the ground. So they have already cut it down. There is a piece of metal back there that looks like it came off of a travel trailer or something and landed here in the middle of Bigfoot country with this one more picture of this X back there that's just pretty cool I'm excited that we're getting stuff all right we're gonna go back up to the somebody mowed this that's the only reason we're walking in it <laughs> um, it's probably property for sale I don't think I'd want to live here but you know okay now, the place where we were just at, they've always had buzzards. Just keep, you can keep going. They always had buzzards circling all the time, which means there's dead, something dead there. It means that they're attracted to something dead. Well, you know, something's a meat eater maybe. And uh, leaving remains. And they're trying to find it. Because they live in those trees above where I just took the last video. Um, so anyway, here we go out. Well, 
what's so neat is I'm enjoying this because my husband's never wanted to participate in this scary stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't do ghosts. You, you know that. I don't do that stuff. But, you know, this living, breathing flesh creature is very strange. And so my husband's finding all these markings and going, look, there's one. There's one. It's pretty cool. This huge house up on the huge hill above the river. Somebody had money, they would have fun with that. You start a school in there or something. Orphanage, whatever. No trespassing allowed. We went in and looked at, uh, walked up to it before we never gone in. Of course, we don't break the law on purpose. So you really having fun, babe? Yeah, having fun. <laughs> He's from Texas, so he always drove the roads, you know, the back roads for hours when he used to drink beer, but he doesn't drink anymore. And um, has been sober since when? August of 1988. Yeah, that's a strong man to quit doing that. He fell in love with God and that changed his life and it was beneficial for the whole family. So, he still likes his cowboy hats though. <laughs> he feels uncomfortable in front of the camera. I've lost my, uh, I'm not uncomfortable anymore. Okay, we're just driving down the road. I don't know if we're going to find something else, but if we don't, this is going to be the end. And um, thank you for going on this little journey. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed subscribe below i keep up with mr b food all the time and anything that happens i'll let you know i don't want to get way over in the spooky land like some big footers do you know but i do think he's a spiritual being too i think he's got some kind of powers and i've said that before the wind always blows when he's around or near i mean just weird things that's not just a or a DNA mixed thing. If it is, it's got some kind of spiritual strongholds on it. So I understand that, and I think they they can tell when you know, you know. So anyway, I'll talk to you later, and leave me a message, and I'll try to respond. Try to do anybody that writes. I try to respond, and um, thank you for watching. Bye. See ya.